Hey, what is up guys? Beautiful day today. Perfect day to make a video. Sun is out, blue sky, and everyone is out skating at the park. Today's video is not gonna contain a lot of skate footage because I've been street skating yesterday. I went to this insane, crusty, good looking spot in Switzerland. And that's why I feel like kind of sore today. I went to the internet and I was looking for a good skating article. And I found one on Chankum Mag. Title of the article, five tricks you should never do. This is very interesting for me because I grew up skating in a small town. I was isolated from the skate scene back then. I would just do any given trick. I would just try any given trick that I would find on YouTube. There were no hated tricks, no non-accepted tricks. Like it was just skateboarding, no unwritten laws. I think in skateboarding it's very essential to have this freedom to do whatever you want to do. But still, let's have a look at the five tricks you should never do. This article was written in 2012 by James Lee. It is not too much text, I'm just gonna read my way through it. I do really enjoy Jack and Mac articles. They are like more creative, more honest, and very entertaining to me as a skateboarder even as a YouTube skater. We'll start off with number five, Willy Grinds. This trick shouldn't have any other name except I wish I could 50-50. What is a Willy Grind? It's like a reverse Smith Grind, but a frontside Smith Grind as a regular footed person. You're gonna Smith like this, in this direction, and a Willy Grind would be the reverse Smith. You're gonna grind on your front track. I gotta be honest, this is gonna take me some tries to land this trick and I actually do know how to 50-50. At one point I gotta agree with James because if you make a billy grind like super short, uh, it looks kind of sloppy. But at the same time, I think if you can hold on to this grind for longer than like two feet, it does take some skill and you can also make them look good. I do not consider myself as a person that can make Billy grinds look good because I never practiced them. But as any other trick, I like it a lot. Number four, another latch trick, slappy nose slides. Remember this article was written in 2012 and skateboarding evolved a lot since ever like it got more open-minded. Flappy nose slide or crooks are very accepted right now and are even considered as stylish, I guess. Flappy nose slides, you know the dudes that can't really do a nose slide at all, so they put their front foot up all the way to tip off the nose and tic tac onto the ledge. Yeah, I hope they die. Sorry James, amazing trick. Yeah, that was a slappy nose slide. I myself, I love to do this trick. Even that I can't hold on to the slide for that long. I think it's also a question of the pop out and the actual flow that you are gonna add on the trick. Number three, very surprising. I was expecting to read burial flip or Benny Hanna at some point. It's actually related to the burial flip. It's a nightmare flip. So here's James' point of view. True story, went to a crossy skate park and had to deal with one of those kids who starts to do all these YouTube side tricks with horrible names. Shit like disco flips, dolphin flips, etc. As soon as he got to nightmare flip, which is apparently a double burial flip, I just kept thinking, why God, why? Kid should have been a rollerblader, so I should have been a rollerblader too, I guess. Because that's basically what I do. Many, many times on my channel you see them in every possible stance. I can understand that this trick is kind of hated because people usually dislike burial flips and they also tend to dislike double flips and if you mix them up together, hell. And here's the footage of the first nightmare flip that I ever landed. Yep. Yes, I'm clearly one of those kids who should have been a rollerblader. Just to let you guys know, I'm not mad at James or whatever. I've 
see this with some sense of humor. Number two, very accepted trick, very trendy, kickflip sex change. Anyone doing this trick over the age of 10 might actually be retarded. It's really that simple. I consider kickflip sex change as a bad looking trick. Except you're gonna catch it and you're gonna add the body burial after catching the board. There are some skaters on this planet who can make this trick look amazing. Do this trick into a menu or whatever, I would consider it as great. I'm sorry I have to let you guys down. I will never be one of the person that is actually doing a good looking kickflip sex change. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's bad. Made it to the top spot. Very interesting, very creative. And of course, this is the zeitgeist of 2010, 2012, the yo flip. What started as an original style to do a 360 flip just exploded into a worst looking thing ever. The front foot catch isn't even the problem here, it's how the back foot sprawls out so you look like you're doing some magically gay karate kick. The worst types of people do this too. Dudes who are all worried about steez, that go buy an overpriced supreme hat and have 10 pairs of limited edition Supras at home. I once saw this yo flip done by Martin Pack, Black Rabbit Part. Insanely good. To be honest, at that time I didn't like the way uh, Felipe did it. Like Felipe has one of the best tray flips ever. But at that time I just didn't really like it. I personally like the tray flips that look more natural, I guess. If you do the yo flip without any pop, it looks kind of, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't really like it, but if you do, you want to kick your trays like that, I'm okay with it. So these were five tricks that you should never do on a skateboard, according to James Lee, Chank and Mike article. Uh, don't take this too serious. It was a good laugh. And the article was actually kind of creative, I guess. Tomorrow, Alexander Readymaker is about to visit me. We're gonna go skate, we're gonna do some vlogs, we're gonna do some game of skates. We're gonna do every kind of possible skate footage. I'm sorry I have to film a lot in this park lately, but yeah, you know, it's tough. Thank you guys for liking this video and helping this channel to grow. Uh, if you wanna subscribe to my channel, do so by clicking this button right here. And if you wanna another, if you wanna watch another video about the 10 most hated skateboard tricks, right here, related to related to a right channel article. Right, thank you guys so much, have a good one.